Hi there. I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters and I am a soul sculptor. I help you break the mold of past trauma, heartbreak, and of course, illness. Those are some of the things that I have overcome for myself as well as anxiety and depression, fibromyalgia, Epstein-Barr, a lot of things. Okay, so today what I want to talk to you about is preventing Alzheimer's. Now, Alzheimer's is a disease that uh, plenty of people get when they start to get older. You can get it as young as 50 and I'm sure there are some cases even younger than that. So, <laughs> the three things to prevent Alzheimer's. Number one, diet. And there are a couple of diets that are recommended to prevent Alzheimer's. One is the MIND diet, the other is the Mediterranean diet, and uh, the key to the best diet for the prevention of Alzheimer's is phytonutrients, leafy green vegetables, organic vegetables, and eating red meat infrequently. As a matter of fact, I don't know about you, but I think I eat red meat maybe once a year on very special occasions. And lots of years I go <laughs> without eating any kind of red meat. So the other, the other thing that we want to avoid is cheese. Cheese, yes. You know, the thing that, that, <laughs> that, uh, that uh, the dairy farmers want you to eat. Now, cheese is not good for us. Um, and now, <laughs> eating it less than um, five times a week, you want to eat it maybe once a week. And for a lot of my family members, we've just totally gone off cheese, totally. Um, so you don't want to eat fast foods and you don't want trans fats anything that is deep fried, you know, French fries, the good old American staple. <laughs> so fried foods are not good. And, but we still do need, um, I eat grass fed butter. It is one of the things that I make sure I consume every single day. I don't like margarine, although there is a margarine out there that includes olive oil, which is uh, fine. So you do want to have, a um, healthy fats, so you, nuts, avocados, uh, coconut oil. You know, there was a time when the medical profession said avocados and coconut were bad for us. Well, that fat is very good for us. And as a matter of fact, we need fat in our diet. So a low fat diet without fat isn't healthy for the brain. As a matter of fact, the brain functions best when we do consume healthy fats, which would be grass-fed butter. I love the Irish butter. There are other types of, of grass-fed butter. Um, and grass-fed dairy if you're going to consume it at all. Okay, so that's the diet part, and that's very important. You don't want to use aluminum cookware or deodorants that have aluminum in them because you're putting them right onto your skin and the skin is porous. The skin absorbs whatever touches it. So you don't want to uh, get flu shots. There is a direct correlation between the flu shot and Alzheimer's. Why? Because there's aluminum in shots. Why? Because aluminum is, and mercury both stabilize the, the um, vaccinations. So. I don't know about you, but when I am offered, oh, get a tetanus shot, get a flu shot, I am like, no, thank you. I'm perfectly healthy. I don't need any shots. Thank you. And I, I have remained healthy. I haven't had the flu in, I think it's been 11 years or more. So uh, healthy mind is very important. Dancing, uh, taking dance lessons helps to keep the mind active. And now the third thing, now I've mentioned a lot of other things along the way, but the third major thing is if you've had trauma in your childhood, if you had emotional abandonment, if you had narcissistic parents or drug addicts or alcoholic parents, you have to do inner healing work 
and forgiveness. If you don't, what happens is you stuff that stuff under the carpet. It is the things that you don't want to think about on a regular basis. The things that you avoid are going to come back and bite you on the ass. And I'm going to state it as clearly as I possibly can because here's the thing. If you abused your children and you haven't forgiven yourself and you, you haven't asked forgiveness of your children, then that could come back and bite you also. Uh, so it's very important to do forgiveness and inner work, to love yourself. This is work that I do with my clients. And the other thing that I do, I clear accidents, illness, Alzheimer's, and dementia in every single session that I have with a client. Yes, it is a program that can be cleared. So the three things, I'm going to state them again, diet, exercise, and working on the trauma from the past. If you are just ignoring it, shelving it under the, stuffing it under the carpet, it, this is not good. You have got to deal with it. Um, when we, what we do is, is a lot of times people have um, a part of their life they can't remember or they have intense numbness. And when you have numbness, it is because you have uh, blacked out or put memories into this little box in the brain. And the brain eventually is going to say, oh, well, we need to shut down because these things are starting to come up and we can't deal with them. You have put it off and put it off and put it off, it will come back and bite you in the butt as Alzheimer's. What does Alzheimer's do? Basically, what happens is it takes you out of your body. You leave your body before the body is dead. And you do that because you're avoiding dealing with certain issues in your life. And I have seen it over and over again that the people that have not done inner work, have not done self-healing or introspection, and are still being triggered by their parents. And I talk to people on Quora all the time about this. If you're still being triggered by your parents, if your parents are still upsetting you and pissing you off with a phone call, you are the type of person that needs to do some inner work because you haven't healed. And the, the 15 years of therapy hasn't done what you needed to do. I can talk to my mom. Now, my mother has put me in harm's way, uh, <laughs> caused me all kinds of issues in my childhood, abandoned me emotionally, and, and put me in harm's way. I was, uh, <laughs> I was blamed for ruining my perpetrator's life. And you see me now. I am happy. I am at peace, my mind is quiet and calm, and my mother no longer triggers me. So um, you have to do this inner work, it's, it's imperative. So I'm gonna go over it one more time. So you don't wanna eat cheese every day, you don't wanna eat fast foods, you don't wanna eat fried foods. All of those things are the road to brain meltdown. The brain needs healthy greens, leafy, um, leafy lettuce and spinach, broccoli, you know, cruciferous vegetables. It's not so much the fruits, but the phytonutrients. In, well, berries are really wonderful, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, because they're low in sugar. So you don't want to eat a lot of sweets because that helps to deteriorate the brain. So inflammation, candida, all of those things need to be healed. And, and exercise. We need daily exercise to live a vital life. And, and if you're not exercising, at least walking, um, running not so much, but walking and exercising, getting out in nature, dancing, you know, getting your heart rate up and, and having some joy. Uh, my mother is 97 and she does a crossword puzzle every day and um, she does word finds and that sort of thing. She reads, she reads six books a week. So plunking yourself in front of the television and checking out is, is not a good way to, to prevent Alzheimer's. You want to have an active mind and uh, do things that, that keep your mind active. Remember the healthy fats 
butter, avocado, coconut, those things are good fats. Nuts are very good for you, especially walnuts. Um, they're, you know, they, anything that looks like a brain, which the walnut does, is good for the brain. And uh, let's see, the dancing, you know, taking dance lessons is a really good way to keep the mind active, alert, and alive. And, you know, energy clearings, it's, it's what I do. And um, so hopefully this will help you. Um, my grandmother had Alzheimer's. I was at an art class recently where the ladies were planning for their dementia and Alzheimer's. And I say, not on my watch. I will not have Alzheimer's. I will not get dementia. I am healthy. I don't eat fast foods. I haven't eaten fast foods in, in 20 years. Um, I avoid fried foods. I eat lots of green leafy vegetables. I have a salad every day, broccoli, cruciferous vegetables. Those are the things that we want. So you want to eliminate red meat, eliminate cheese, eliminate trans fats, and those things will help you tremendously. And then, of course, getting your energy cleared and getting that Alzheimer's program removed. And that would, you know, suffice. So there you go. I hope this works for you. Those three things again, one, two, three. Eating lots of leafy green vegetables, lots of, of green vegetables, phytonutrients, and, and low sugar. You don't want to eat a lot of sugar, no fried foods, no fast foods. So the Mediterranean diet, butter, coconut, those things help to feed the brain, exercise daily, and work on your, your past. If you've had trauma, you need to heal it, and this is the work that I do. I have a fabulous course, which is uh, your kick-ass life, and in this course, we deal with all the past trauma. We are doing eight energy clearing sessions in eight weeks, an hour of, of inner work. It's, it's amazing the stuff that you can clear in eight hours of energy work. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you want to message me for additional information, you can check out my website at jenniferelizabethmasters.com and my email if you want to, to send me a private message, jenniferelizabethmasters at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. Sending you lots of love. Remember, lots of leafy greens. Eat the coconut. Farm fresh, grass-fed butter. When will the farmers learn in our country that cows, horses, sheep need to graze on grass, not be raised on grain? They thrive on grass. You know, when you go to Ireland, they don't say, grass-fed milk or grass-fed butter because it's the norm. Their sheep, cows, horses are all happy because why? They're on pasture, which is what we need to do with our animals. They need to be on pasture grass, not on dirt. So happy cows, happy life, right? Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Sending you lots of love.